Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm part of Google's policy education efforts. My role is to help you better understand our publisher policies and restrictions, and also share the challenges you face with our internal teams. In this video, I'll cover the ads interfering publisher restriction. In particular, the content obscuring Google served ads category. We are always working to facilitate a healthy digital advertising ecosystem. This means that we create publisher policies and restrictions to help ensure that our users, advertisers, and publishers are protected and can trust in that ecosystem. Under the restriction, content obscuring Google served ads, we will restrict advertising for content that fully or partially obscures Google served ads. Google publisher restrictions identify content that is restricted from receiving certain sources of advertising. If your content is labeled with an inventory restriction, fewer advertising sources will be eligible to bid on it. In some cases, this will mean that no advertising sources will bid on your inventory at all, and hence, no ads will appear on your content. Importantly, Google Ads advertisement, formerly AdWords, will not serve on content labeled with these restrictions. Therefore, while you can choose to monetize this content, it will likely receive less advertising than other non-restricted content. As a publisher, you're encouraged to experiment with a variety of placement and ad formats. However, Google ad code may not be implemented in place that may cause content to obscure Google served ads. For that reason, avoid site layouts in which the content fully or partially obscures Google ads. These layouts make it hard for users to distinguish between the actual publisher content and the ads. When you're designing your monetized website or app, make sure to leave space for ads. Maintain adequate spacing between the ads and the page controls. For example, on a site with games, try to avoid placing ads too close to the game controls. We generally recommend a minimum distance of 150 pixels between the player and the ad. We also suggest you avoid using wrapped floating text, as these layouts make it hard for users to distinguish between the publisher content and the ads, and may cause content to obscure ads. And remember, content includes publisher content and ads. So ads obscuring other ads is also part of this restriction and hence not recommended. Just as our publishers expect us to remove non-compliant advertisements, our advertisers expect that we will display their ads in a user-friendly way. Our policies are constantly evolving, adapted to the changes in our industry and society as a whole. We are always working to facilitate a healthy digital advertising ecosystem. The future of Google and our partners is linked, and we believe in fostering an environment where users, advertisers, and publishers can all thrive. As a publisher, check if your content is restricted in the policy center in your account. As a user, if you encounter a policy violation and would like to bring it to our attention, please report it using the form linked in the description box. Hope this video helps you better understand our ads interfering restriction on content obscuring Google served ads. You can find more videos explaining our publisher policies and restrictions within this policy playlist. Thanks for watching.